Take Your Child to Work Day here on KDK is all about igniting imagination. And what better way to do that than with a STEM-tastic adventure? With bubbling breakers and fizzing reactions and explosive experiments. Well, not the explosive part no. so much. Our bosses wouldn't love that. But who says a day at work can't be a blast in one way or another? So, Atomic Amanda and Electric Eric from Mad Science of Pittsburgh are here. And uh, we put you to work today, I know, right. making some fun experiments for everybody. We also want to introduce the kids that with, are with us right now. So this is Lachlan and Olindo. And of course, over there, Sonny and Lila. <laughs> Oh, goodness right, gracious. So, so what are you what, what are we doing today? Where do you want to start? Sure, no, yeah, this is great. I have my friends over here set up to make elephant toothpaste, which Ooh. is a very popular experiment. You guys were very excited to make it when yeah. I told you we were gonna make it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is Lachlan, you're gonna open up that packet of yeast using your scissors. All and right. This is like normal bread yeast that you would this buy. This is normal bread yeast. Store. This is all stuff you can do at home. We're gonna do it in our Erlenmeyer flask, but you can use a cup, you can use a bottle, anything that you want to use. Now in the meantime, uh, uh, Lachlan's, or, I'm sorry, we have Lachlan over here. We have a Lindo over here. You're going to take this whole beaker. We're going to start, with, uh, yeah, why don't we start with the uh, the dish soap? Perfect. A little bit. We're going to, now you perfect. don't need the dish soap to do this, yep. but it does make it extra slimy, okay. which is perfect. Well, we like slime. Yes, exactly. We're yeah. going to go for this. So, oh, this really is hydrogen that. peroxide, just same stuff that you can get at the store. Mm -hmm. um, Olindo, you're going to take that whole beaker and you're going to pour it right into our Erlenmeyer flask. If you can, yeah, hold on to that there, my friend. Whole thing. Good job. Now, my friend over here with the yeast, make sure you give that a little bit of a stir with your popsicle oh, okay. stick first. Right here. So he has yeast and water, which we're rehydrating that, and that's all that you need. Now, this, this is a crazy is question, but is that warm water, or is it, does it yeah. matter? Um, warm water does work a little bit better. You don't want to use, like, hot, hot water, because right. it'll just kill the yeast. So a okay. little colder than hotter, I guess, if, if you're worried about that. Now, he's got that stirred, and you can go ahead and dump that whole thing right in there. Okay. Very cool. Oh, Something happens. immediately going to happen. Oh, a little yeah. bit. Oh, 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 and you can add food dye to this. I don't like to do that because it stains my hands. But you can most certainly add food dye to this to, to change the color of it. And it's very fun to play with. You guys can go ahead and actually touch that. Because yeah, it's right. like kind of slimy, okay. kind of foamy, kind of oh, yeah. funky smelling. Ew, so and, and fun. Elephants and now, don't really use this for toothpaste, do they? As far as I know, <laughs> don't no. Eat <laughs> don't eat it. Okay. Yeah. And then what are we gonna do down here? Well, over here I have some stuff with dry ice. Have you guys ever seen dry ice before? Yeah. Okay, so this stuff is freezing cold. This is about a negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. You do not want to touch it, okay? okay? So have you ever been outside on a cold day and you see your breath? Yeah. Right? It's probably happened to everyone, right? right? Imagine if it was so cold. That your that your breath froze into into an ice cube. That's essentially what happens. And this does something really unique. This changes from a solid directly to a gas. And you can see when I blow on it. Go Ooh. ahead and blow on that. Yeah. Ooh. Very cool, right? But there's some really interesting stuff that we can do with this as well. So I'm gonna take my my boiling flask here. I'll try to rearrange as best as I can. I like to put things on a pie plate so that way, like as we see over here, when I if make a huge a mess. mess, exactly, yeah. it stays in there. So we're gonna add some of our dry ice to our boiling flask. I like to add in a little bit of cold water first to really get that sublimation going. Oh, look at that. Oh. And then I like to add in a little bit of my hot water to really, really kick it up. It's funny because it's actually boiling at the bottom. Do you guys see the bubbles yeah, down at the bottom? Yeah, I was going to show you that there. If you look at the bottom, sort of ignore the fog, you can actually see it bubbling up. It looks like it's it's boiling. It's changing from a solid to a gas. So go ahead and blow on that. Wow. And why does it do that? Uh, this does just, it's the properties of, of uh, CO2. So this is carbon dioxide here. So um, this is the point that it that it sublimates at. So it changes directly from a solid to a gas. This Whoa. is like the ultimate mad scientist look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Like, really, sure. this is so super impressive. It's also great for all your, your spooky graveyard effects uh, for Halloween. Yeah. Now you do want to be careful with it. People are like, can I put this in my garden? Like you might crack a bowl or something like that. So not really something to necessarily play around with unless okay. you know what you're doing. But since we use some dish soap over here, how about my friends try some dish soap here? So one of you guys can take that, or maybe both of you can. You can take turns, add in a little bit, and let's get <laughs> our pie plate back out. Okay, pie plates are very important. Pie plates are, are we go through a lot of pie <laughs> yeah. plates at Mad Science. It's a little drop. Yeah, we do a lot of this stuff at our summer camps that we're doing this summer. We have our Fizz Boom Bang summer camp where we do a lot of chemistry-related things like this. So that's what this oh, is from. Oh, wow. This is 
we have some cool dry ice bubbles and the bubbles are safe to touch. <sighs> wow. <Whoa>. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's cool. Let me bring that over here. <laughs> Did you just make a pun? <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels going, wet. Friend. And did they just pop? Yeah. yeah, they just pop. So what do you guys breathe in? What do, we do you guys know that? What do you guys, what gas yeah. do you breathe in? Um, you know what that's called? Oxygen. So this is carbon dioxide. This is what you guys breathe out. Yeah. And basically it's been frozen here and now it's turning back into a gas that we can see. Very cool. Very well, this is yeah. so awesome. And I know something about, um, wait, wait, wait. Science. What and do you know about science? What you breathe in oxygen and you breathe out air, but then plants breathe in um, C, um, CO2 yeah. and then and then it breathes out oxygen. Exactly. So Very then cool. you could breathe it back in and then it just keeps going over and over. I think oh, we have a budding scientist. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank well you done. so much for coming in and having some fun with us today. Yeah, absolutely. Love the great. Experiments. Yeah. This was great. It's cool. really fun. I'm, I'll, I'll end with this. This is just our dry ice shower. You guys can, can sign us off if, if it's that time. But I always okay. like to just oh my do this. God. Give everyone a little dry ice <laughs> oh, shower. I feel right. clean and better Ooh. already. <laughs> These guys are